What's up guys, welcome back. As you can see, we're in holiday mode, and in my opinion, one of the most underrated dishes on the Thanksgiving table is the stuffing or the dressing, whatever you wanna call it. But today, I'll be showing you how to make this delicious cornbread and sausage stuffing. This recipe is absolutely packed with flavor and definitely a crowd pleaser this Thanksgiving, so give it a try. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Before we do that, though, let me know in the comments whether you call this dish stuffing or dressing. I know technically stuffing goes inside the bird, but I still call this stuffing anyway. We have two pounds of Jimmy Dean sausage here, one stick of butter, some garlic, some fresh herbs, which include rosemary, thyme, and sage. We've got some celery, one onion. Here we have some seasoned breadcrumbs. We also have some cornbread. So we're using both today. Trust me on this, it's gonna make it absolutely delicious. We got some parsley, some chicken base, three eggs, and you gotta have four cups of chicken broth. Now for our prep, we're gonna go ahead and dice up some of these herbs. Today we're using the herbs that you cook with, not the kind that cook you. A little sage, rosemary, and thyme. Sage immediately makes your house smell like Thanksgiving. That's what I like most about it. And this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. The holidays are just around the corner and HelloFresh makes this busy time of the year easier than ever with chef-crafted recipes and pre-portioned ingredients delivered right to your door so you can spend less time meal planning and prepping. Save money on dinner and splurge on holiday shopping. HelloFresh is cheaper than the grocery store and 25% less expensive than takeout. As your calendar starts to fill up this season, you can count on HelloFresh to get you some of your free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and pre-portioned ingredients come right to your door so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of the prep work. If you need dinner in a hurry, HelloFresh's quick and easy options like 20-minute meals and easy cleanup recipes allow you to enjoy the good times around the dinner table with loved ones and less time in the kitchen. I've been a longtime user of HelloFresh and I think you'll love it too, so go to HelloFresh.com and use the code MrMakeItHappen70 for 70% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code MrMakeItHappen70 and get 70% off plus free free shipping. All right, so we're gonna get this party started by melting one stick of butter, as just about every holiday recipe should start with. Next, we're going in with two pounds of sausage. I like to use sage sausage, or really whatever sausage you like. Jimmy Dean's my go-to, but if you don't wanna use pork, guys, you can use turkey or chicken or beef for this recipe as well. We're gonna increase the heat to about medium, medium high, and cook this sausage all the way through. And then we'll begin adding our veggies and the seasonings, get everything tasting exactly like we want it before we add the eggs. And then we'll put it in a casserole dish and pop it in the oven. So once your sausage is fully cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add in one onion and four stalks of celery that we diced up. Oh man, the house is gonna be smelling like Thanksgiving. This is my favorite time of the year. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. Stuffing to me is one of the most underrated options on the table and I can't wait to dig into this in a little bit. All right, so once the veggies are in there and getting tender, we're gonna go ahead and add in the herbs. Again, that's rosemary, thyme, and sage. We're also gonna add a few tablespoons of diced parsley, followed by three cloves of diced garlic. We're gonna enhance the flavor quite a bit with a teaspoon or two of Better Than Bouillon chicken base. For those of you guys watching the sodium, they do make a lower sodium version of this. So be on the lookout for that. We're gonna give that a good mix. And again, guys, before you add the eggs, you really wanna taste this. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. Make sure the seasoning is spot on before you add the eggs, cause then you can't taste it again until it comes out the oven. So we're gonna mix all that together. As for the seasoning, we're going down with my all-purpose. If you haven't tried this yet, you can get yours via the link in the description or just use whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is. You'd also use a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder since we have plenty of garlic and herbs already in there. No need to go too crazy. You also don't wanna to go too heavy on the salt if you're using the regular better than bouillon because there is quite a bit of sodium in that product. So we're gonna mix that together, get in there for a taste test here in a moment. 
And then we'll start adding in the cornbread and the breadcrumb. Next up, we're gonna enhance the flavor just a little bit more with a little Italian herb paste. We already got plenty of herbs in there, but I like to add a little bit of paste to the situation as well, just to enhance the flavor a little bit. Remember guys, it's Thanksgiving. We gotta pull out all the stops today. Immediately the house starts smelling good. We got garlic, we got onion, celery, sausage, and more butter than I'm willing to tell my doctor about. All right, so for your cornbread guys, you wanna make it a day or two before. You can also buy the prepackaged stuff if you want to, but it's best to make your own. We're just gonna crumble that in there. That's gonna add a nice element of sweetness to mix with the savory. You can add some red pepper flakes if you wanna add a little heat. Cooking is all about making the adjustments that you like. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. I've also linked to my cookbook and all that good stuff in the description box also, as well as all of these products you see me use. So if you're interested, you can check that out and treat yourself this holiday season because we all know Christmas is coming up. So we're gonna fold in that cornbread and then we're coming with the breadcrumbs. Before we add the breadcrumbs, guys, we're going in with about three and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna save a half cup to thin things out if needed a little bit later. We're gonna bring that to a simmer. And then we'll start adding in the breadcrumbs. Initially, it's gonna look like it's too much breadcrumbs, but they'll eventually absorb all of that moisture. Homemade broth is best this holiday season, but if you're in a time crunch or you're feeling a little lazy, you can use the store-bought stuff like me today. In come the breadcrumbs. We're just gonna fold that together. We're already looking like stuffing. Again, guys, it's gonna look like too much at first, but as you fold it, it'll start to absorb all that deliciousness that we've been working so hard for. All right, so once you got the consistency you're looking for, kill the heat. We're gonna add a little bit of that room temperature chicken broth to cool things off a bit right before we add the eggs. You wanna make sure that it's nice and cool, not piping hot because then you'll end up with scrambled eggs. You wanna add the eggs once things have cooled off just a little bit. And then we'll fold in three beaten eggs and then we're going into the oven. All right, my friends, I got my oven preheated to 350. I have my nine by 11 casserole dish loaded up with this delicious cornbread and sausage stuffing. I like to make some ridges because those ridges are gonna get nice and crispy when you put it in the oven. If you flatten it out and smooth it out, the top will get a nice little crust, but I really want some almost burnt edges on my stuff. And to me, those are some of the best bites so I like to make some ridges like that. And that's going in the oven for about an hour. All right guys, this is what we're looking like coming fresh out of the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes. What you wanna see is some nice golden brown pieces on the edges, the ridges like we talked about. And one other thing to make sure you don't overcook it, you wanna use a digital food thermometer if you have one, and you're looking for at least 165, maybe 175 on the internal temperature. Anything much over that, you might start drying out your stuffing. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is to get in there for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And I have found my fork. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. Here we go, moment of truth. Looks a little hot, but I'm willing to risk it for you guys. and sausage stuffing. 
But before we, that's not what I wanted to say. What's up guys, welcome back. <laughs> what did I say? Dishes on the Thanksgiving table is the sup. fuck, the sausage. <laughs> uh, all right. What's, did you give me the, my man Moody doing some shit with his hand. I can't tell no, if that I was been, my, I no, oh, I couldn't no, tell if that was my no, signal no, or not. <laughs> 